Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm checking out a brand new music video by Ladipo and Rema, and I'm extremely excited to see this because they're both some of my favorite Afrobeats artists, and I really wanna see them, like, how they mesh together in this music video. And uh, I'm not gonna say the name of the music video for obvious reasons, but without further ado, let's get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and watch all my other videos on my channel. I have lots of Afrobeats reactions, and let's go. Let's start. No cap. No daps. Yeah. But you knew that. Let's go. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> yeah. Punchline nigga. Afro jigger. Nightlife killer. A sci fi nigga with my sweet brown sugar. High time nigga. Why didn't I already know the vibes before, <laughs> before the chorus even comes in? Let's go. Oh my goodness. I, okay, already I'm feeling the song so much. The chorus hasn't even come in yet, but I don't know. It's something about Ladipo's voice. He's able to rap without losing a melodic quality to his voice. Um, I think it makes him flow a lot better, especially when other artists like Rema, who actually Rema kind of is, has the same idea where he can rap and sing at the same time. But anyways, I think Rema's taking on more of the singing role within this song. Uh, so... In, in conclusion, Laddie Poe's voice, having that melodic rap quality, flows really well when Rema comes in. It's not jarring in any way. And also this trap beat in the back, once again, merging Afrobeats with like more of a traditional trap sound. Um, ah, it's just so good. And this music video, again, it seems to be very high quality. I think that Afrobeats is really progressing a lot in the quality of their music videos. They're focusing on more of like a storyline and like a theme rather than just like dancing and then like close-up shots of the singer singing. Um, yeah, so I'm really liking just the whole vibe so far. And I'm vibing with the song, okay. <laughs> Bro, must have been loving these shorts lately. <laughs> Every boss, he's a dime. Give you love, yeah. Never time, never time. For the in every line. It's not only my whiskey that's getting better with time. Our music now is opening doors you can never close. They tell me that apples bigger than heroin on older hope. Now everything is on. Okay, wait. Is there captions to this? I wonder. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, hang on. <laughs> uh, keep that quality high. Um. Yeah, no. Okay. Obviously, I'm missing a few lines here and there, but I think I'm getting the gist of what Laddie Poe is saying in his verse. I think he's talking about the emergence of Afrobeats uh, on the global stage and how, I guess, with the popularity of TikTok and people doing dance challenges and Afrobeats being such like a dance-oriented genre of music, that him, his music and Rema's music is only getting better with time. They're, they haven't reached a peak yet. Um, and they didn't only have a career that lasted like two years or something like that. They're in the game. They're in the game and they're planning to stay here for a while. And then also that connects with the the title of the song, which again, I'm not going to say the word, but um, the title of the song, it kind of, you know, it's it's a jab at people, at their people. And so it's showing that even with all this like xenophobia and racism that their industry is still rising to the top and it's defying all of those stereotypes and racist comments that are that are coming at them and so i think that this is a great song to short, sort of show that just juxtaposition how some people are in this like racist mindset but they are still defying all those stereotypes i don't know if you guys feel that same way about the song title and how that connects but we're gonna see again and how he's also like, I've got my I've got my people here with me. I've got Rema here with me. I've got all these other people in the game. I, I also think like CK and like just all these people who are pushing those boundaries and opening those doors and they're making it so that that door can't close back on them. Because I feel like Afrobeats has had its moments in pop culture where maybe one song gets popular here and there, 
but overall they haven't really been recognized as a full genre yet and I think now there's enough popular songs circulating. Like even recently the Iskaba challenge is coming back and I'm like wait like that was from when I first got into Afrobeats and so I think more and more songs are getting that popularity that's allowing these artists to really embody this message. Everybody who's hating on us they just need to they need to leave like <laughs> to be honest so um yeah i might be reading too much into it but that's what at least is resonating with me at the moment zombie is customized to my frame all this nigerian made except for the dollar you think you're in my class but i fly from delay okay <laughs> I think with all the luggage that I'm taking, I'm over the weight, so I leave a heavy middle finger right here in your face. You know I badly behave. I'm on a flight now, nigga. You can't connect bad Wi-Fi, nigga. Aiming for my chest, cause it's five times bigger. It'll take more than shots to test my liver. Cause I'm Let's a punchline, line, nigga. Afro nigga. Actually, I I really like that line where he said, um, that that's some great wordplay. It takes more than shots to something in my liver, like attack my liver, <laughs> means that you better get something a little more hardcore if you want to attack me. Yeah, that's what he's saying. <laughs> Egg bad Wi-Fi, nigga. Aiming for my chest cause it's five times bigger. It'll take more than shots to test my liver. <laughs> cause I'm a punchline, nigga. Afro jigger. Nightlife killer. A sci-fi nigga with my sweet brown sugar. High time, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> They go so well together. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that part. <laughs> Okay. Their outfits are so good too. Okay, so he's making like a lot of references to like sci-fi and like um i don't know it just seems like they're talking about the future like they're referencing the future a lot the future afrobeats the longevity of their own careers and uh this is just such a good song such a good clap back at all the negativity and the hate that they get all the time i'm loving it and the styling as well i feel like the quality of this of this music video and all of the fashion trends are re well represented within it and um i think that that's something that a lot of afrobeats artists uh, are now starting to use to their advantage uh, their own style and getting stylists and and keeping up with the current trends because it makes the genre a lot more appealing globally to people. They look and they go, oh my gosh, I want that jacket. And then they hear the song and then they're like, wow, this is great. So I think that this music video as, on, as a whole looks super appealing to just everybody including people within Nigeria as well. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously coming from California, but uh, so I'm looking at it kind of with a global perception, like seeing how if I showed my friends this, would they, how would they react? Um, but I think that, you know, in general, it's just uplifting everybody. Everybody who likes Afrobeats is going to like this, so. Got my whole city in flames. You don't need to point fingers. I'm not a nigga to blame. Because I'm a punchline nigga. Afro jigger. Nightlife killer, a sci-fi nigga with my sweet brown sugar. Okay. Sugar. High time nigga. Six hole figures. Oh. Hose one. I want to just um reference like one other thing that is just gonna be funny because you guys know me. I'm I'm an analyst. I like analyzing stuff. Um. So this like part where let me see if I can find it. Yeah, where you see like the camera. It's kind of like they're showing you a look into their life. And it kind of brings you out of that, oh, I'm watching a music video to like, oh, I'm watching what their life is like. And how also you can kind of see like on Rema's scene right here where it's a set, it's a set piece. So it's, it's showing you a little bit of like, oh, they're on set. This is what they do every day. It's super cool. Okay, let's finish the song off. 
What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Remy Boy, and I'm chilling with my jiggy nigga, Laddie Poe. You know where we come from. <laughs> this is family shit, bro. Okay, yes, they reference a family at the end. <laughs> that was my reaction to that song. <laughs> um, so let me just give my final thoughts. Here we go. Okay, so evidently I enjoyed it. Uh, I think that was pretty obvious. I think that Rama and Ladipo just go so well together. Their energy throughout the music video was infectious. I was instantly drawn to the song and I will definitely be adding it to my playlist. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know any other recommendations you have and I'll see you all next time.